I'm in need of a more moodier section of my closet. No, not something I wear when I'm in a bad mood. I never get in a bad mood, but something that's just a little bit different from what I normally get. Normally I go for the bright, florally, everything. I like that, I like a lot of colour. But I'm just after a small section, maybe no more than 12 items, just to satisfy that little moodier section of my brain that sometimes, which is rare, but it does happen, that I get up in the morning and think, I want something a little bit more edgier, a little bit more moodier. <sighs> okay, I don't have the funds. What am I going to do? my bucket my bucket is full of dyes and dyeing stuff yep so I think I've got some black dye I have some items of clothing one non Canther Bay, but the rest are all Canther Bay that I'm not wearing. I've got a, a, good, a small selection of them. And I think I'll just over dye them with the black writ dye. Let me just get rid of the cap. She doesn't want to be part of this video. Um, I'm going to over dye them. Everything's just going to get one over dye other than the pants. The pants will get two because I do want a really dark pair of pants. Everything else I just want to tone down. And yes, I'll just do the process, follow the instructions on the back of my die, and let's get started. The next couple of pictures you'll see will be the items that I have chosen, and they will be the befores. And then I will put up pictures you don't need to see a lot of me I will just put up pictures of the afters but there'll be the before and there and the after some of them may not be a great deal of change I have absolutely no idea if I'm completely honest but let's see that everything first item was the Silk Mew. I'm going to show a picture of the before and this is the after. This little lady had one over dye. I over dyed her for about 30 minutes, that's three zero minutes only. I did not want this lady to be too dark. I just wanted to take the edge off and make her, just to give her a little bit of a darkness, but I really like the way this one turned out. So that is the first one. Item number two was the head wrap, and she received two over dyes. I dyed her once, went through the process of setting it, etc. etc. So she got the dye for about 30 minutes, that's all. I set it 
and then she got her double wash etc etc and then I went back and I did a second one to get it even more darker uh, the first one was nice but I did like the second one the second one got it and the colors of this one I'll put up the before somewhere and this is the color and she is definitely more on the gray side and she's pretty much a solid color and the feel of her now she feels like a soft denim that's that's what i that's how i would describe her so she is item number two she gets her own hanger so she had a double over dye item number three is the modified silk new here's the before my cat's wondering what i'm putting my hand to and this is the after because she got the the, the a really good cleaning beforehand she did not come out with a lot of oil stains i think for the most part her coloring came out quite good and they call her modified because i did remove about four inches off the bottom and just sewed it up just to make her a midi dress length so this is the next item <coughs> excuse me she received one black writ dye and she was in for about 40 minutes four zero did not want her none of these items i wanted black I just wanted to enhance or darken up their natural tone so that is lady number three and you'll notice that the colouring around here almost turned into a sort of a charcoal light charcoal it's not blue anymore it's showing up it's a purpley charcoal so the purples and the greens go really really well together I have not tried any of these on guys, they have just literally came out the washing machine. This is how they're looking. Like I say, next week will be, um, you know, the, that video. Item number four were the pants. And these are the modified lounge pants. They're called modified because I took off the waistband added my own and then at the feet i added little elastic just because i did not want them to keep catching in my birkenstocks these received a double over dye they were dyed once with the black i went through all the process um washed them etc etc and then i put a second dye on and that's the color i wanted these to be really as dark as i could get and the good thing is I've, um, they won't pick up the cat hairs either because the fabric doesn't pick up the cat hairs. So these are going to be my staple. And I wish I'd have done another pair at the same time because I am loving these. So that is item number four. Item number five was the cape. Here she was. She was extremely bright. This is her now. She has toned down a lot. And... This is how I learnt my lesson with this particular piece. It's a very big piece of silk, as you can see. And originally I did dye her, she got two dyes originally, a couple of days ago. I went through all the process, but when she came out, she came out with so many oil stains on the underlying fabric that came to the surface. It was just the splotchiest, most awful thing. And, <clears throat> So what I did was I used bleach and for about 30 minutes I kept washing and washing and washing and washing and washing and washing her. I removed all of the most of the colour to get her back to her original state, gave her a really good wash and then I used the, um, the washing up liquid to try and get rid of some of the oil stains because there were just, I mean, there must have been over a hundred of them and it was so, it wasn't the dye, it was actually oil stains coming through. 
and um, you know I've talked about this in other videos that is one of the risks that you take whenever you over dye a piece it will and it may show up any oil stains from its previous use so she got one dye today to darken her up and literally I mean she's more or less a uniform color now there are some small patches of oil stains very small areas there was a this area still has oil stain on but you know what I can live with that oh. I can live with that the color has definitely come out a bronzy I'm not sure what color you see there I don't want her any darker than that she is going to be a layering piece I am going to be layering over the top of her I found a new hack and it's it's amazing so but that is my next piece and yes I can deal with the few oil marks that are left on her now because I think the look of her is really nice it's she's just toned right right down she's she's got a very beautiful color so that was that item the next item I'm going to bring up on the screen this is not a Camper Bay item just to let you know this is a pair of pants I purchased from Amazon you can see how bright they were normally I love the bright colors but that is not the color that I was I was wanting to go with them they are possibly the most comfortable pants I've ever worn as far as leg and knee type and they do have the wide flare at the bottom I did cut them about uh, two inches at the bottom just to make them shorter they had a double over dye with the writ I tried synthetic dye with it first because it's not a natural fabric and that that went nowhere so then she got a double dye with the black and I'm loving it I mean how perfect is she gonna go with some of these items so she has come out really really nice it's not a solid solid uniform color that she came out she but she looks sort of uh, stonewashed in a way I think and yes I mean I, I can see you're already thinking I was not expecting her to come out this color but this is a color that I absolutely adore uh, each dying session she was putting for about a good hour each time I'm limited to time at the time with the sink that I could do so each time she was washed and then I did a second one on her and she's not perfect but she's perfectly imperfect she is the color that I was hoping to find but I've got and I'm shocked that if you put black over that yellow you got that color that that was a shocking one for me so that is the non <laughs> camper bay pants before I show you the last item mainly because she's still in the washing machine I am going to include one item in this because she was a creative one as well she wasn't a dye one and she's not camper but I do want her to be included within this capsule that I'm working on and I did do the alteration at the same time whilst these were all in their process I'm going to show you the before the reason I did not use camper is because I did not want to cut up any of my beautiful t-shirts that I have from camper bay currently because the pattern goes all the way down on the new t-shirts so I went purchased one from Walmart This is the biggest change I think I was wanting a cropped t-shirt I don't do cropped as in up here I wanted something that sort of hit belly button wise and <laughs> I love her <laughs> I can't believe it I love it and this is going to be included in this moody one and I did not do a video for it because I just I wasn't going to include it in this video but I think she's too good not to 
I removed the neck, but I kept where the binding sewing was. So I removed sort of the outer part of the binding, cut round, and then I got the scissors and made little puncture marks in each of these. And where I made a puncture mark, I got the bleach and then I dipped um, a Q-tip in and I just went over it. It just gives it that stud kind of look. I also did sort of a nice little opening there, sort of an added, I've got, I've got some more safety pins come in, so there will be more safety pins going there. Um, I did spill the bleach <laughs> over here. So I kind of had to try and do it, something that looked like a design with it as well. I went around, yeah, I, I did some light. I, I wanted to take it away from just being a solid black. So I got the, the bleach in a mist bottle and I just gave it a very light mist in certain areas just to give it that look. I did not know it was going to come up out the orange underneath, but I am so happy that it did. And then the bottom, I did the dingle dangles very short. I cut it up to about there and then I just obviously, I did the dingle dangles and then I dipped each one of these in bleach. I left it for about 20 minutes and then I put it in the washing machine. And yes, so she, <laughs> she is going to go like pretty well. I did want a layering piece for over that cape and the way that the colours are just mixing in with the oranges. Yeah, you'll get to see the final looks of these in my um, my closet. I, I don't know why I keep forgetting <laughs> what I'm going to say. But in the video next week, when I actually wear some of these pieces, do some looks with them, then you'll get to see that. But I am obsessed with this. This was in the men's section. I've been waiting for the 2X and the 3X to come back in stock forever. I wanted a more fitted tee, <laughs> fitted. So I got the 2X. I didn't want it to, to be too overly big, you know, big and baggy. She's a little bit loose, but she's she's not cutting in. So I got the 2X and that is her. <sighs> One more item. This is the final piece that I have been working on and just to let you give some background on this this beautiful little lady this lady was gifted to me and it was a unanimous unanimous <laughs> unanimous unanimous no I don't know who sent her <laughs> I don't know why words are failing uh, I don't know who sent her but she was a gift and she's been sitting in my closet she's actually had quite a life before me you know, she had the life um, back in Bangladesh or India, wherever the fabrics were from. Campa Bay made it into a kimono. And then the lady that um, sent it to me, or gentleman, sorry, uh, the, the person that sent it to me as a gift has worn it as well. So she, she's, she's had a lot of life. She's had a lot of life in her. She's a little bit fragile at the moment, but she's fragile. She has been worn, but I'm going to show you her. <sighs> I'm going to just pop up the before and I think you all saw her she was beautiful before but I'm thinking this girl was like damn I want to be like Cinderella and I want to have something cool going on and look at how amazing she has turned out I mean I can't even I can't even describe just how amazing she was and you know the thing about this one this is the only one considering she ha has a lot of wear and tear to her she's the only one that did not come up with oil stains she's a good girl and uh, I just think she is stunning she's come up with the dark darker greens the blue at the bottom is has come out almost black but it still has retained the pattern not sure if you can see that guys she has that go oh look at that she has the gorgeous pattern running through her i did the belt at the same time obviously and then the back because she's multi-dimensional she's sort of a satin and then a mat or a silk and a mat look at this i mean i am not joking she is my most favorite kimono she was my favorite anyway because she was a gift and I think she has just 
you know, she was a caterpillar, she was a beautiful caterpillar and now she's a gorgeous butterfly and she is going to fit in well, look at this guys, with the rest of the items, she is just, I mean, you know they say you keep the best till last but I just, I'm obsessed with how good she came out, I mean the colours, I don't even know if the colours are showing off but the colours at the back, can you see that guys, how she's looking, she has this oriental print running all the way down her back and she just, I mean, she just grasped onto that and just loved it. She just got uh, one dunk and she was in for a good hour. I mean, a good hour. I used the full bottle as with all of them. They all got an individual bottle. I did not use the same bottle for them all. Every single one of these items had their own moment in time. I did them all individually and separately to make sure that they all got the best that I could do for them. And this is, this is a mood. This is the mood of what I was trying to emulate um, with this moody sort of concoction that I've popped together. So that is her. I honestly could stare at her all day. I just, I never would have thought. I never, I wasn't sure if she was going to even change colour because she has so much dimension to her. Um, but you can tell she's been loved. She has been born, she has been loved, and to whomever sent her to me, you sent her to the right place because I absolutely adore her. You know I'm never going to let her go. And now she has become, she's gone from princess status to queen status. She has gone to queen status. And I cannot wait to style her next week. So she is going to be the last item that I did. <laughs> I have spent an awful lot of time today and yesterday literally giving washing every single piece separately, um, trying to treat them as best as I could and giving them their own bottle of dye and that was a long, long process, I'm not joking. So this is this beautiful collection and next week, <laughs> anyhow, so this is this little lady. She is the last one in the collection for now. And uh, I'll see you all in a minute. And that is it from me. I do hope you enjoyed seeing some pieces of clothing that have changed. And next week's video, which I will be um, uploading on Friday, over on my youtube channel and hopefully if they allow it on the camper bay besties page then i will be doing a lookbook with not only these items but also some extracurricular items that i have from other sources i've already mentioned at the beginning of this video i do not want this wardrobe to be very big i only want it to be a very small minimal one I'm trying to keep it to about 12 pieces so next week's will be the lookbook however one thing i do want to say if you manage to stick to the end of this video is that in next week's video i will be announcing a competition and the competition is because I have reached 200 subscribers. <laughs> I've reached 200. <laughs> I was so pleased yesterday when I saw that I'd, I'd got 200 subscribers. <laughs> you have no idea how happy that makes me. And so there will be a competition. I will be announcing it on Friday during my video. And it will be open to anyone, not just Camper Bay people. It will be open to anyone and yes um yeah just wait and see so there'll be a little competition coming along nothing nothing too big but uh i did say that at 200 i would pay it forward in some way and i figured who better than to the subscribers that i um I don't know that I talk to and the people who have been watching my channel so there is a competition coming next uh, next Friday I will announce it and uh, I'll tell you about it and there will be a winner 
from that but I will give you some of the deets beforehand in the meantime thank you for watching guys I am so pleased with the way these turned out I know I have to stop touching my face because I've done a glycolic peel and <laughs> But I'm, I'm so happy with this little collection. Let me know your thoughts. Which, which of these pieces did you, <laughs> did you like? Uh, did you like any of them? Has it given you some inspo to maybe do a little bit in your closet as well? Um, yeah, just in the meantime, thank you. Thank you everyone, love y'all.